Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the video. Today, we're going to start on the 1000 Toys No Guns Life Juzo Inoue. Juzo Inoue. Uh, sorry, guys, I am a little tired, but I'm trying to push through and make sure I put out good quality as it is because I am going to take a, a real break because I'll be on vacation and then I have to get new equipment. So <laughs> I won't be able to do stuff if I wanted to. So, yeah, back to the topic on hand. This is nice. Like, it's really, really nice. Also, by the way, this one is a free plug. If you haven't watched the anime, I think you should give it a try. It is really good, at least in my opinion. I really and thoroughly enjoyed it. And I'm probably going to give it another watch because this toy reminded me just how cool some of the fight scenes are. So, uh, yeah. Let's talk about it. 1000 Toys is stepping into the realm of doing uh, cloth goods on top of their really, really good stylized look. Sorry, he dipped in because of my groove here. But, um, yeah. The fact that this dude has a, a gun head... I don't want to spoil the the uh, anime or manga for people, but uh, yeah, it's not just the gunhead. It's everything about it. It's the guy's style, his look, the fact that his loafers are just mm, so nice. It's just a nice look on him with this style. It's just so dope. Um, so let's talk about the figure. This guy moves and functions really well. I think the one drawback is that in our sleeve section for our arms, it's going to limit our articulation for really nice poses so while it'll look good with his arms down doing a punch pose or anything dramatic going forward may be a slight bit of an issue i popped that hand up but we're going to talk about that because i think that's probably the only gripe i have with juzo because otherwise he looks really really good in everything he does and it's so hard to like not compliment something that looks so nice like this I really think that, and I talk about it all the time with my friends, especially KJ, is that uh, we are in a very good place with toys where we have so many options to choose from that it's a bit overwhelming. It's really hard to say no to stuff when you have so many good options. Or you can mix and match stuff or stuff complementing itself in another line. We're just really at that point now. So as we move around with this guy and just show off what he can do, just movement-wise, you'll see like, this looks good. His jacket is wired and it looks really good and flowing motion. But like I said, when you pose forward, you're going to lift this jacket up, limiting all real uh, articulation for the arm to go forward, which makes it a little difficult to have both arms forward. So you have to basically do one arm forward at a time. As you can see, I'm really struggling here. I pop the hand off because I <laughs> just a little bit. But yeah, you have to have one arm back. And I think that's the only real drawback to the jacket that I could really see that it just seems tight to a point where it finds it a little difficult to use it. I'm oh, sorry, to utilize it with both arms forward. But you can totally utilize it one arm at a time, which kind of is a bummer. But uh, it, technically looking back, I don't think he does anything with both arms forward outside of reloading his gun arm, the Funk Faust, right? He may do some other stuff like hold his arms together, but let's actually take off his jacket so we can talk about both the jacket and him. Do, do, do. Let's get him topless. And I didn't mean to throw a jacket, but I'm actually quite excited to talk about this guy. <laughs> right? One of my only gripes is that we chose a different type of peg. Like with the Sentinel stuff, I think they're just changing around pegs because we actually don't, again, don't have a ball joint. But for him, it would have totally helped for him to actually have one. So instead, our joint actually still moves around, but it falters a little bit on the movement on the inward part. But doesn't fail going outward or around, which is really dope. I really like this muscular body they gave him. His neck is ridiculously powered up <laughs> in terms of like bulk. And it just looks really good. But I know for a fact that's also kind of what's hindering the jacket a little bit. We can lift our arms up. Right as they lift over the part here for the uh, collar of the shirt. We have a bicep swivel. We are double jointed. We have an upper torso movement. Which shouldn't have too many issues for our movement. As we can go forwards, we can go tilting side to side. And our neck has a little bit of articulation as well. So there's a lot of uh, moving components. We have our movement belt. Well, <laughs> our belt has movement by being able to lift and move it side to side. 
Our bags on the back also have some movement. Now the legs are a little tricky in my opinion. I had a small issue with mine getting them out of the box because they were very tight at first. So you can go outward. And once it pops off, because it may pop off by accident, you can pop it right back in. You should not worry. You can go outward about this far. You can go forwards, but your thigh swivel is going to get in the way. So unless you rotate it sideways, you will not get full movement upwards. So just be careful with that. We are singular jointed, but oh no, sorry. We are double jointed, but no, wait, wait. It's a single joint, but it looks like a double joint. That's crazy. So it's a single joint here, and I was about to call it a double joint, but it's a single joint. For those of you that like aesthetic, this may bother you as being a really big single joint. Uh, doesn't really bother me, but I know for a fact everybody has a different preferences. We can turn side to side. We can move our loafers forward. We can move our loafers backwards. And we do have toe pivot. Very important stuff. So Juzo has a lot of movement, and that's what I love about the 1000 toy stuff. They try to fit both aesthetic and movement all into fit in the style. Let's make sure that foot is flat when we set them up. Yeah. Now we're going to talk about our jacket again. Now, I have a thread hanging loose, but I don't think that's too much of an issue. Like I said, it's wired. It looks really good. It folds for function very well. I think our only problem is I don't think they accounted for a little bit more room and extra space in the shoulder part. So that way our guy would have more room for movement but although <laughs> i don't even care i still like this jacket a lot i think it was very well made so let's actually put him back up sorry jacket knocks you down i think the only real drawback i think outside of the, my small gripes is that we don't have actual weapon holding hands for juzo I, I just i don't know why we don't have like item holding hands i would have loved some of those but they just didn't give us any of those. But we do have other sorts of hands. So for instance, we have open action hands. Let's change our focus for a second. So we do have some open action hands. As you can see, the revolver is always going to be on the right hand. We do have, let me make sure I just didn't lose track of another set of hands. Do, 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 do. Yep, we're good. We do have one right hand, technically for holding items, because I tested it out. So I tried like putting like <laughs> a Mythic Legion sword, and technically by the time it gets to the thumb grip, it can hold most items. So here's like a Mythic Legion sword. Here is a handgun. Even though he is a walking weapon, you want to try other stuff, right? Just in case. Then you have these cool cigarette holding hands slash reloading hand. So our Funk Faust here gives us the impression that it's reloading by spinning out, just like in the anime, for when you want to reload your wrist, which is very dope. You'll also get your boy Lefty. Lefty uh, has a joint here. And you can actually unplug this to plug it on Juzo as well, if you want. So you can use it as an extra hand. It will look slightly different, but it does work. Lefty also has a wire here. And this is all wired up. And you can actually move this joint for the legs slightly up and down. And you can rotate him. Give him a little bit of expression. Next up, and the last thing that they pack in with you is going to be, you can technically roll your own cigarettes. I know some people have third-party cigarettes, but you can roll your packs here. And these are going to be your filter cigarettes that you can create. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to buy some third-party ones. Not going to lie. <laughs> so, yeah. I also want to see how it looks when you hold up a weapon. I had a hand for that. There we go. So technically he can hold weapons like i said it's just weird that we didn't get anything else but overall i am still beyond happy i do want to get a nice glimpse though of our head sculpt 
You can see the teeth, the revolver part of his head. The handle is at the back, just like in the show. So it's all there. This is really, really nice. But unless you are a big fan of 1000 Toys or No Guns Life, you won't know who this guy is, which is part of the reason why I decided I absolutely needed to review this to bring a little bit of a attention to it, I guess, because I really want to people to like no cool toys sometimes even if you don't know what something is if you think it's cool that doesn't mean you can't get it so why not bring it to somebody's attention and allow them the chance to get it as opposed to missing out on something it's kind of like what happened with uh killy from blam or ethero all these cool figures that were being done they were missed out on because nobody knew what they were so that's part of the reason why i continue to review things like this i feel like people deserve a chance to try stuff and, and make sure that it's never too late. So, hopefully, uh, Utah, if you're watching, shout out to you. I appreciate what you're doing, man. Uh, and please continue to make more of these. Uh, I appreciate you watching my stuff, man, and being a fan. And I appreciate you making cool things. So, without further ado, I am going to take the time to set up. And we're going to talk about the size comparisons. So, let's get to it. All right, guys. Let us get to the size comparison. This is where it gets fun. I think the only thing I'm missing that I can think of right now for my 1000 toys very quickly is my Hellboy. And that's because he's in a battle display right now. I didn't want to take him out. But uh, let's compare him to a 1000 toys Dante from Devil May Cry. Very good choice. And I really like the size differences showing you that even though they're different body types, they can work really well. Here's 1000 toys Killy from Blam. Even smaller, which is even crazy, right? Then we have 1000 Toys Synthetic Human. I figured this one would be a really great choice in this, especially if you do like the army building shots versus him. It'll look utterly fantastic. And these are a bunch of different styles from 1000 to uh, from 1000 Toys that you can choose from and it's actually really really good. I love this stuff. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I got excited. But yeah. Now we can jump into some other stuff. Here is a Hasbro Lightning Collection, SPD Green Ranger. Here is a Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe, also brought to you by Hasbro. Here is a 1000, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm about to say 1000 toys. There we go. Here is an Articulated Icons uh, Ninja. Here's an SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Decade, which I actually just took out of the box. So here is Kamen Rider Decade. So, Juzo is a much larger character, so it actually shows and portrays itself, too, in the toys. Now, let's take Decade away. Here we have Mezco Me on a Gomez body. I can team up with Juzo. Here is a Mythic Legions Barbarian. And it looks like Juzo is ever so slightly taller than him, just barely. And what review will be complete without Kamen Rider Kuga being on a tiny scale side? I think the only thing I can try to throw in is like a build a figure. So you guys can see how a build a figure would look bigger than him. And I think I have Zen Mood near. If you want to wait one second. Oh, wait, I have a saber tooth too. So let's try that. Hold on. I'm going to get some toys. Get some toys for y'all. Yeah. So here is a bigger Marvel Legends body, and the legs are spread far apart, but uh, you can see that he's clearly around the same size as Juzo, and it'll look really good. He does have a custom head, too, and here's a Build-A-Figure Zenmu. So you can see just how it kind of stacks up and looks really decent. I like the size. I like everything about it. I think the jack is a little too tight, so I can't do too many action shots with the fist forward, but jumping is going to look fantastic with him, like as it looks really good in motion and i have to worry about that new hand peg because i have to remember not to turn it away i shouldn't so i have to remember that i have to keep that in mind and that's that's for me so hopefully it'll help you guys out as well oh by the way off screen i did test out the mezco jacket it does look good on him you'll see these in the photos uh this gives a little bit more freedom to him as it gives a little bit more uh room up here in the chest area and just for an extra bonus, here is a Storm Collectibles Scorpion as we move over Sabretooth. 
So yeah, Juzo is actually in scale with some of the Mortal Kombat stuff. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thank you so much for putting up with me as I made this Tired Man review. But I put as much enthusiasm in it as possible as I truly do enjoy this figure. Um, thank you for always watching. Say something nice in the comments. Go do something nice for someone today because it'll make you feel better. Uh, and as always, please be good. Do good. Drink your water, guys. Later. Bonus content. So one thing I forgot to talk about is the simple fact that Juzo, his jaw can actually move. So yeah, real quick bonus content. As you can see, it can open and close. The mechanism at the top of the jaw moves forward, which is pretty nice. So yeah, just figured I'd add this in since I forgot it. Thank you guys, as always. <laughs>